Hello and welcome to another update video about Chainlink. Chainlink is um, yeah, basically still in our support area here for the possible C wave of a wave two, which could help us to turn around to rally in the third wave into the $10 region and eventually even higher. Um, so this is the key support area. It did find support at the golden ratio, a little bit like Bitcoin Ethereum here, uh, but not on the weekend. It was actually yesterday it found support there at 721 so far it is attempting to turn around but nothing substantial i would at least like to see that it rallies above the previous what i have labeled as a wave 4 high which is here at 754 uh, before i start to talk about its reversing yeah because at the moment it has done five waves to the downside i did explain that to you in yesterday's video we've got five waves down so it doesn't need to go any lower it has done what it needs to do but um, yeah, now it's up to the bulls to really turn it around here in this area where sentiment has a chance to shift. Yesterday I showed you here possible micro count, but really micro count um, where I said to you that it might be we get here one more low because I could count it as a possible wave one here in a wave five, here a wave two, here a wave three, a possible fourth, which is now not really viable anymore. Um, I mean, it's still possible. And then one more low yeah, in this count, but that's a bit very weird count because we would have to assume that we're doing something um, like an ending diagonal and an expanding diagonal. Well, it's actually possible, but it's an unlikely count, a bit of an adventurous count, a bit like a unicorn. You don't see that every day. So, um, but it's possible. You know? uh, let me think, is it actually possible? Uh, no. The wave three would probably be the shortest one in this case. Nah, not really. I mean, other possibilities, but again, bear in mind, this is really just a micro count here. I wouldn't pay too much, um, wouldn't wouldn't waste too much brain power on a micro count because especially in a volatile market like crypto, you sometimes see distortions. What's more relevant is really, you know, do you, do you hit these key support areas and not to be too academic about the count, but certainly another possibility would be that this wave four is maybe still running, yeah? that we moved up here, and that's actually possible, as we moved up here in three waves, can you see that? A, B, C, could have been the A wave of the fourth wave. We then came down in an A, B, C, in a B wave, and it did under shoot the previous wave three low. That's actually possible because the A wave was three waves. If the B wave is three waves as well, it, it, it looks like either a running flat or expanded flat pattern. And now we could be moving up in a C wave of the fourth wave, yeah? Uh, wouldn't be surprised to then see one more reaction to the downside, or it it makes it really and goes higher and then we're already in the breakout. If it, if it as soon as it leaves the um, support area and breaks above the previous high at 754, we can start to focus on higher. Um, eventually it would need to break above the 766 level that's the 50% retracement to indicate that it can't really be a fourth wave anymore because then it retraces more than the 50% retracement. Um, so that's the key level here really. Yeah, but until then it could still be a wave four. Um, that's absolutely possible because the move down in my opinion was only in three waves. Okay, so one more low is actually not too unlikely, but I wouldn't necessarily, you know, if you wanted to trade this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wait for the lowest low to occur. Um, because sometimes it doesn't happen. Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't happen. So that could still work out here as a fourth wave before coming down. Um, we can also calculate, you know, sort of assuming this is correct, that this is still the fourth wave. What would be a target? Well, you can see here where it points towards the one to one ratio. 749 wouldn't be surprised to see some reaction there and possibly come down. But um, again, this is really just a micro level to give you a bit of an orientation of what could happen here. Uh, important is the key support area, the turnaround point, the um, pivot point. That's what can be traded. If it breaks, it breaks, but then low risk, high reward, okay? Um, not every trade works out, that's what it is. Here we had a good track record on link. This one worked out, rallied into resistance, came down. This one worked out, rallied into resistance, comes down. Maybe this one works out as well. We'll see, keep focusing on it. Hope you liked the update about link. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.